And in the state of Texas, Jordan Spieth breaks the winless drought. Hey, bro, what are we talking about today? Jordan Spieth wins first his PGA Tour event since 2017 with Masters ahead. Yeah, Jordan, who hasn't won anything in like four years in the golf world, won again. Let's talk about Jordan. What's up? I'm Percy. This is Rissy. Percy is in the bathroom. No! Correct. No, not right. <laughs> Welcome to the brand new hit, critically acclaimed, internationally lauded morning show called the... Night, where every day we do a little video about the news while Mercy's in the bathroom. Most days. <laughs> Most. Days. Like, Most days. Um, I know. What I did I just say every day? Yeah. Yeah. Well, clearly I, we're breaking that contract. We didn't get one done. I don't know. Thursday, Friday or Monday. Thursday. Because today is what day? Tuesday, April six. That's right. Some good stuff. Some whatever stuff. What it doesn't matter. But we're gonna go out on a slightly changed schedule for the very short term. Where we're just gonna publish Tuesdays and Thursdays, but very short term. We'll be back to a normal schedule. Soon. Now it's going to be on purpose that we're skipping Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Right. We'll share what I'm doing later. A little something I wanted to work on. Uh, what do you want to talk about today? So this guy, Jordan Spieth, professional golfer, I think he's like 27 right now. Well, so he, four years ago, was amazing. He was winning a bunch. People thought he was like the best golfer ever. And then all of a sudden in 2000, like after 2017, he went like really dry. He like could not win. In 2018, I believe it was in the Masters, he shot a really good round, but he still didn't win that. And then for the next few years after that, he didn't win anything. And that's just not expected of someone who you think is gonna be the next greatest golfer ever. You expect them to keep winning, and he wasn't. Holding the trophy at the end every once in a while, and. Uh, it was a while since the last time it happened and got so bad that he has these interviews where he says things where he was very honest like he did this really great job still kind of talking to reporters but there were times when he would go out and he would say I hope you never have to feel like this but I basically I get up in front of the golf ball and I feel very uncomfortable you know, when I look at where I'm going to hit it, I really have no idea where it's going to go. Not a good feeling for a golfer, right? A professional golfer, they hit a ball and it goes exactly where they want it to go. That's how come they're good professional golfers. Us, who sometimes hit it left and right and it goes all over the place. Mm. He felt like, I think, an amateur again. So he won a PJ Tour event this weekend and now the Masters are coming out. The Masters are very difficult. But it'd be nice to kind of see him have a have a shot at it again. People, a lot of people want to see him do well again. Granted, he's young, but I think a lot of people are going to go through this regardless of age. But they, he hit a high point of his career, and then it basically bottomed out. Like his confidence was shaken. He he basically couldn't do what he was good at anymore, or didn't feel like he could do well what he w used to be good at, and that's a. That's a tough thing to do. There's no guarantee he was going to kind of come back from this. And it still sounds like he's not completely sold on himself being back to form. I don't know how he's going to do. I, you know, I've, it's a toss up, I think. Something that's helped him is he surrounded himself with people who I think do have confidence in him. And he talks about this being a team sport. Golf isn't surprisingly just about the one person. Even though it's just one person out there golfing, he is surrounded by people who teach him and caddy for him and support him and hold him up when he's feeling like this. Good on uh, Jordan for uh, sticking with this. I think it's kind of inspiring to see somebody kind of go through the ringer here a little bit with, with, their, with their profession and come out again, hopefully, you know, back to a, a good form. Put yourself in that position enough times, the bounces will go your way, and that's kind of the motto I've always lived by. You know what it's time for? The joke of the day, Austin is a cool buddy I thought maybe you forgot about this. No. He's a dog, but she's really, really a koala, but she's really, really, really a butterfly, but she's really, 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 really a deer, but she's really, 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 really a dog, 
with bunny ears. Birkin, Birkin. Birkin, Birkin. Hey, Merce. Where are you, Merce? So, Merce, we're talking about golf today. Uh -huh. This reminds me of a tip I have for all golfers. Something I do when I'm golfing. I always bring an extra pair of underwear when I go golfing. Just in case I get a hole in one. <laughs> that joke was from a... No, I can't do that. He's got a... Kind of a naughty username. Nope. That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching these weird videos. Thanks for sticking with us. And uh, yeah, we'll be back Thursday. If everything goes to plan, we'll, we'll post another video Thursday. And this won't be a long period of time we, we do this. I just wanted to get something uh, done. Bye.